What's up, everyone? <laughs> What's up, everyone? I am here. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I just like got caught up with life and then like four or five months passed by it's crazy but um hello everyone welcome back if you're new here hello my name is Sharnice and I have not made videos in a really long time but um I'm happy and I feel like this was way overdue I want to give a med school update because I'm on this journey and I'm at SGU and I'm, like we're still online it feels unreal like I just want to kind of talk about how things have been going so um the big question that everyone is asking me am I going back to Grenada or am I going to Grenada at all because I've never been I visited but I've never been for medical school and the answer is no I'm not going to Grenada um I was hoping that I would be able to go for my last term, term five, um, in January, but they actually just, well, recently they sent out an email saying that term five will be um, optional, like online optional. So I'm going to take that option because um, a bunch of people went... All right, back up. So term three, everyone was online. Was everyone online? I think some people went to Grenada for term three. Um, I don't know if they, I don't think they offered in-person classes, but some people were already there on the island. But for term four, August, 2021, they, SGU made um, the term online optional. So they sent out this survey. And some people were um, able to fill out the survey and say whether they wanted to stay or whether they wanted to go to Grenada. So um, a lot of students went to Grenada and um, they had to be vaccinated in order to go. But basically what happened was um, a lot of the public in Grenada, like the locals, are not vaccinated. So um I guess there was a lot of like mixing between students and locals and then what happened was the cases started to rise and not only did cases start to rise um deaths started to rise so there were like before we got there I think the whole uh, this whole pandemic there was like I don't want to say the wrong number but a minimal amount of deaths like really minimal like i could count on my hand amount of deaths and then after students went it just skyrocketed 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 um so then everyone went on this lockdown they couldn't move on the weekends people started moving back to their like homes and after only being in Grenada for like three weeks and i was just like us seeing it like the online students seeing what the students in Grenada were going through we were just like no <laughs> like no like there's no way um and we also felt thankful that we were not there when all this stuff was going down so um that happened and then um once that happened SGU sent out another um email communicating that January would also be online optional and that is the last term for me to be on the island before I go to my to do my rotations um so I think I'm just gonna stick it out I'm gonna stay online it's been going well so far um I don't know if you guys could tell but I'm in term four now I'm in term four and yeah i'm really i'm really like getting the hang of online learning and i'm actually just really excited to go into the clinical years like <sighs> online learning was fine but it's really hard it's hard like trying to stay motivated and like just sitting at your desk all day and um even like another big question that i get is like how are you doing like 
clinical stuff or how are you doing labs and all that kind of stuff and you know there is a disadvantage of being online the whole time you're like communicating with your standardized patients like um, via zoom your labs are on zoom all that stuff so um i mean i guess there is more of an advantage of having lab in person but i think sgu did a really good job especially with the labs because um i felt like lab was amazing on zoom i was like whoa i can see all the structures like it was great so yes i will be online for term five school itself in terms of my performance i'm doing well i got through term three i'm currently in term four and i cannot believe that i'm three months away from term five like <laughs> it's it's like out of this world so um yeah i also just wanted to so that's my like med school life update so i'm staying online i i went to sgu but i've never been to grenada <laughs> um but i also wanted to talk about term three because i did not make a video after term three um i started in august of 2020 so between term three and term four i only had 10 days i know in the past it has been a shorter period between terms three and four but um term three was like surprisingly relaxing and when i mean relaxing obviously it wasn't really relaxing but like <laughs> Compared to all the other terms, it was kind of relaxing, you know, like it was only six weeks long. There are only two exams. The material that you learn in term three is is really interesting. And I think that's why I also like term three, because I was like interested the whole time. So in term three, we learn ethics, we learn biostats, mm -hmm. we learn public health, immunology, microbiology. I don't know if I said that already microbiology and um and like the physician patient relationship so that stuff is is really interesting just like finally starting to learn how um things work in the clinical setting and what kind of things um impact the patients that you're gonna see um what decisions you have to make in the clinical setting so um i'm just gonna briefly talk about how i studied for those um different topics and hopefully it can help you guys all right so for biostats um it really for me it really was a matter of um knowing exactly what the question is asking for so they're gonna give you all these formulas they're gonna give you like negative predictive value like like all these terms that you have to know you have to know the term and you have to know the equation to use but what it really boils down to is knowing the language behind the term like what does this actually mean what are you actually looking for so i made flashcards so my flashcard maybe on one side it would say um negative predictive value and then on the other side i would have the actual definition of what that means and then i would have another card that had negative predictive value and then on the other side it would have the equation um and so i did that and i also did the practice questions that were provided by sgu but um another thing that i did me and my um partner for my des we made practice questions like almost every weekday just so that we could practice all the time so we would make our own practice questions and be solving like each other's questions so it was um so we got a lot of practice in that way so for biostats knowing the really knowing and understanding the terminology and um practice questions for micro and immunology, um, I really like the way that that was taught at SGU. I think that those, like, aside from the a lot of the biochem stuff from term one, those were two of the strongest um, modules that we've learned so far. Um, and I say that because 
I didn't really do anything extra for micro and immunology. Like I would go to class and I would understand exactly what they were saying. And the professors for micro and immunology usually give like some kind of chart or algorithm to help with your studying. So that was also really helpful. So if you see any of those in term three, like the, the charts and stuff, really use them because that's exactly what they're testing you on. In those lectures, they also, specifically immunology they like highlight their lectures and they tell you like this is highlighted because we think it's important and it will be tested so immunology and microbiology very straightforward just take the time to really do your pre-read pay attention in lecture do your post read do the practice questions that they give and that should really be enough i know that some people liked um using boards and beyond um especially for immunology they like using boards and beyond so you can supplement those videos with the lecture too but i personally just used the lecture and um made notes and it was phenomenal like i i loved micro and immunology ethics so i like ethics right in itself i like ethics but the way that ethics was taught at sgu <laughs> um i i don't know because okay so for ethics i would say to do the kaplan 100 ethics questions i'll like put a link for it but like i don't know for some reason the person who taught ethics was like i don't know she was like trying to be sneaky or trying to like make it harder than it already was so like the way she was testing ethics was not the way that ethics is taught in a standardized way for step one for the USMLE, which I think is like not very helpful for students. So I don't know. Um, I think people liked her office hours. I think you get a lot of more insight from that professor in office hours but um just like just keep that in mind that like the kaplan's ethics questions can really help but um i don't know the professor is doing something different and it's not like standard usmle stuff and i don't like it and a lot of people were not pleased with it either because i feel like ethics is ethics right like <laughs> it should there should only be like one way that is taught and we're learning for the usmle so i don't know why she is she like the professor made some like exceptions to certain rules i was just like it, it was just kind of weird but um yeah i would say for ethics um definitely office hours um the kaplan 100 questions and um for sgu sake just pay attention to what sgu has to say about ethics lastly like public health and patient safety are really like straightforward things the way that i studied for those two topics was quizlet um and i have a video on how i do my quizlets for studying um but they're like those topics are really interesting it's really time for you to just like focus and really think about the role that you're about to take in healthcare. yeah i use quizlet all the way for those and that did the job for me and so like i said term three is really quick only six weeks and um it's straight to the point it's two exams so yes it's relaxing and it's easy um i personally took mm, that time to like still enjoy my summer um but i would say that you should be wary because two exams is not a lot of time to like show what you got there's just like not a lot of room to build your grade you know what i mean like there are only those two exams so um do your work <laughs> pay attention you know make sure your head is still in the game but um you know like enjoy your life too like you have a life and this is a really good time for you to like if you have term three during the summertime just breathe a little bit so yeah guys that was my med school life update and um how to approach term three if you have any questions 
of course reach out to me people reach out to me all the time you can reach out to me via email um and i hope to be back soon bye oh i also want to say <laughs> i forgot this in the video i also want to say um practice exams there are practice exams um that are written by upper term sgu students they are so helpful they've always been really helpful for me on any module so i would definitely do those um when you're in term three as well and the way you can find those like once you get into sgu and then you like join the facebook school page there there'll be d you you'll find out you'll never like not know what a des page is <laughs> as an sgu student so um once you go on those you should be able to see practice exams take them before your actual exams and you'll be golden bye